वेलकम यू बर्स टू सॉफ्ट अकेडमी अ प्रोजेक्ट कंट्रोल एंड इंजीनियरिंग सॉफ्टवेयर अकेडमी नाउ आई विल टेल यू अबाउट स्केजुअल कंपेरिजन डैशबोर्ड इन प्रीवियस वन आई हैव जस्ट शोन यू अ रिपोर्ट एंड अ लिटिल बिट डैशबोर्ड नाउ आई विल जस्ट शो यू अ कंप्लीट डैशबोर्ड ऑनलाइन वेब बेस्ड सर्वर टूल सो इट्स ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ऑन अवर साइट सो इट्स लुक लाइक दिस वन so you can see schedule update status and comparison dashboard xr tool so you can comparison here your current and previous project here and also your planned versus actual dates count so how many uh, activity dates was planned and uh, how many there have been done actually their start and finish differences uh, in between previous and uh, your current and their combined what the difference is also in project dates what the difference is as i told you in my previous video 59 days duration and also the negative uh, what the negative lag is and what the negative uh, variance is it's minus 32.3 so the change of uh, the duration between the these two so also uh, it will be shown here progress and activity status and activity total float and finish constraint trending cost loading resource loading and activity revisions if there are at wbs revision notebook revision resource revision logic revision calendar revision and constraint revisions and also if there are activity uh, which have been added here so it will be shown here so i will show you how can you assess this one uh, your comparison dashboard uh, report so now we will go to the video So here I will go in my browser, my Chrome browser, and I will go in my site softydemi.com. You can go on the Google, write softydemi. It will be shown here, softydemi. So on my tools, I will go here on comparison dashboard XZR tool. So both are different. So I will go here, write my username and password. You can go and get your username and password from our administrator, and you can get or from team by email us by contact. us through whatsapp number you will just click uh, on whatsapp number uh, contact us on whatsapp number you have connected with your browser so it will be automatically text to us if you are connected with mobile so also when you click on contact us on whatsapp so it will be automatically contact us so make sure while using mobile phone you can contact through chrome browser only so chrome browser have access through xr file so it can be easily loaded so our only that report tool will be work work on there and also our, our uh, dashboard will be work on our mobile phone also so you can go here click on buy subscription you can buy subscription and because you will not get a username and password uh, without subscription and go, go home page button is there also if you want to use the detail schedule comparison report you can click on this one you will go to the uh, another login page so in that login page you will find detail schedule comparison report xr tool and also uh, you can go this one to other tool and if i want to go back to my schedule update and status comparison dashboard xr tool so this one is dashboard tool that was his report tool this one is a dashboard so i will just open my and did enter my details and then go here login so here i can see here select current xr so i will just go here my current xr is 28 february and my previous one is december 31st so also i can assign here near critical total float should be 21 22 23 you can change here you can write any and my higher float uh, should be uh, not greater than 50 so also i can assign here if you i want to remove and i can check uncheck here so it will be not shown in analyze so i will analyze my whole dashboard also in this dashboard you can see here the comparison have been drawn as i told in initial of my video that what the changes have been done and also activity status not started in complete and in in progress and complete this is the faster dashboard and you can create just and to show a, a complete presentation you can print that one in a3 size and make that one portrait and that one if you make that for, for portrait for example i just print this this one as a uh, pdf if i go here save as a pdf so if i go here and uh, just go here default 
So when I go here in default, you can see here my whole dashboard will be appear here. So I can save this one. This one will be drawn on the PDF also. So this one a dashboard can be easily shown on a, in one page. So you can just give it to your contractor that this, this is are the details of your dashboard. Also, you can give them a complete report that one I have shown you with another tool. So you can say that this one, this one uh, we have should be done so in that dashboard also the cost uh, loading will be uh, appear here if there are uh, some issue with budgeted costs in some projects people just change uh, their budgeted cost when they uh, export and import back uh, their uh, budgeted units so they change something so it will be appear here if there are changes so while you have a comparison so the consultant can easily see here if there are changes in cost so he can easily see here also if there are issue in remaining cost it will be also appear here and so if there are uh, actual to date cost is for example if you, your updated schedule should be on dated of 28 february or if your uh, 28 february cost is different and your uh, recovery schedule cost is different so you can see here uh, in the differences also in the resource loading Resource loading is also similar to cost loading. There's difference like budgeted labor units and budgeted non-labor units. So it's just different like that one. So it's a similar concept as cost loading. If you have added something or if you have changed your uh, original plan, so it will be also appear here, your resource loading. So some people just increase their resources uh, while they uh, just make a recovery schedule. Uh, they are reviewing schedule. So they increase their resource loading. So it will be also shown here your budget total quantity increase are also uh, remaining uh, quantity also will be appear here also the period uh, for example uh, if there are a change in period for example the period is changed in uh, 10 days or 20 days if the period is same so also uh, the it will be also appear here like if there are changes uh, in uh, current and previous and the date is the same so it will be also issue because uh, it should not be different because on the date uh, in recovery schedule both the units should be same in activity revisions, how many activities have been added, deleted, revised activity names, it will be counted here. Revised duration, activity start, changes, anything will be recorded and uh, numbered here. So you can give that one dashboard to them that say to them this is the issue and write in the, uh, in the report that also the report dashboard I have shown you the comparison report dashboard. So you can also send that one also. So this is my today's content about uh, my complete schedule comparison dashboard XR tool so you can uh, contact us with uh, through as uh, our whatsapp number also you can contact us through our email info at the rate of softydemy.com also go to site and click on our whatsapp icon so you can also contact through that one thanks for watching softy demi if you have any question you can write in comments so we will see in our next video if you have any question thanks for watching softy demi